Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Yane Pomiliaci and Vishyanand. This is a game from the Kolkata Rapid Tournament played in 2019. Ian Nepomniachi had white pieces and he started with c4, the English opening, maybe e5, going for the king's English variation, g3, the standard move, knight to f6, bishop to g2, bishop to c5, knight to c3, c6, white to move, d3 is a very common move, Preventing e4. Nepo played knight to f3, inviting e4, and Anand played e4. Attacking the knight. White to move knight to g5 is the most played move. Nepo played knight to h4, sending his knight on the rim. Is the knight now dim? Definitely. Maybe. The game continued. d5, d4, bishop to e7. Let's take it back. If e takes on d3, then c takes on d5, and after c takes on d5, queen takes on d3, and white is standing slightly better. Back to our game. Bishop to e7, c takes on d5, c takes on d5, and both players cast at king's side. f3, pawn takes pawn on f3, rook takes on f3, knight to c6, knight to e5, the knight is no longer dim. Anand considered bishop takes on f5, but decided to keep his light squared bishop and played knight to e4. White to move. Rook to f1. This is better than knight takes on e7 check because the knight takes on e7. Rook to f1. Bishop to f6 attacking the pawn on d4. e3 defending the pawn but blocking his dark squared bishop. Black to move. Knight takes on c3 was played. Perhaps g6 should have been considered, but naturally people don't like to play an ugly move like this. Knight takes on c3. B takes on c3. Bishop to e6. Rook to b1. White is now standing slightly better. Queen to d7 was played. Rook to b8 perhaps would be a better move. But then, after bishop to a3, white is still slightly better. Back to our game. Queen to d7. This is a wrong move. And you will see shortly why. e4. Unleashing the dark squared bishop and defending the knight on f5. Rook from f to e8. White to move. What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this awesome move? Knight to h6 check. That's why black queen is better placed on d8. Black to move, king to h8. Let's take it back. If g takes on h6, rook takes on f6. Then black king is in trouble. King to h8. White to move. What now? Nepo played, rook takes on f6, the exchange sacrifice. What a brilliant attack, which of course Anand allowed when he played queen to d7. Pawn takes rook, queen to f3, nothing serious, just threatening checkmate. King to g7, e takes on d5, bishop takes on d5, white played a move and black designed. Knight to f5, check, Anand resigned. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. King to h8, queen takes on d5, queen takes on d5, bishop takes on d5. One entertaining line goes like this. Rook to e1, check. King to f2, rook from a to e8, bishop takes on f7, rook from a to e2, check, king to f3, rook to c2, attacking the bishop on c1. How to defend the bishop? This is a little puzzle. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Then, white plays a winning move, not defending the bishop, but playing bishop to h6. After rook takes on c3 check, 
King to g4, black plays the random move, which random move, perhaps rook takes rook, and then white plays the obvious, bishop to g7, check, eight. Very nice attack by Ian Upomniachi. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.